Hello, this is How Could It Be In, and today we are going to be reading SCP-198. I'm not sure if I did this already or not, but I just wanted to read it because it seems interesting. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I remember. SCP-198, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-198 is a, located in a secure room of site blank with armed guards posted outside to prevent any unauthorized access. SCP-198 is to be stored under 24-hour video surveillance in a sealed and locked case. By 4. By 0.5 meters, by 4. 0.5 meters by 0.5 meters by 0.5 meters. And he kept in a secure location accessible only to those, those personnel with level 3 clearance and above. Under no circumstances are any foundation for personnel to handle SCP-198. All handling of SCP-198 is to be done via remote robotic means or by ID class test subjects only. In light of Incident 198A and Incident 198B, object class has been evaluated to Euclid and Containment Protocol 198 has been established. SCP-198's case must now be kept on a digital scale attached to an alarm system with redundant backups for power in its secure room. Any deviations in weight will indicate a breach and site supervisors must immediately enact Containment Protocol 198 detailed below. Description: SCP-198 has taken numerous forms since coming to Foundation possession in 19 in blank. Since acquisition, SCP-198 has been observed to have been have dozens of different forms, including a sour from cup, blank brand uh, spear bottle, blank and blank and brand aluminum soda cans, an oversized shot glass that eats one tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor. A plastic water bottle with a blank label partially e peeled off and then expunged. These forms always appear partially e filled with the expected liquid a vessel of that type would contain. Currently, SCP-198 appears as an ordinary white porcelain coffee mug with blue vertical stripes evenly spaced around its exterior. There are no visible manufacturer markings or otherwise remarkable details about its appearance in its current form. The object has resisted all attempts at destruction or sampling for further analysis. When inactive, SCP-198 can hold the expected 240 ml flu 8 fluid ounces of liquid that any standard carbon mug would hold. The law's behavior does not manifest until a live human being grasps SCP-198 to hold it. In approximately 2 to 5 seconds after the SCP is held, it will instantly bond itself through unknown albeit painful means, to the Hedler's hand or hands. Test subjects have reported the pain of bonding with SCP-198 as a searing or firing sensation, though no heat can be detected by outside observers or instruments. The use of gloves or other areas between the object and hand does not prevent the bonding process, so long as the subject can still grip SCP-198. Extensive testing has revealed that the bond appears to be at the molecular level and is permanent until the death of its holder. To date, no means have been found to break the bond, including cutting or severing the fingers or hand of the holder, as any wounds below the rest of the test subject heal instantaneously. Further proposed testing of the range of healing up to the handler's arm is pending approval. Once bonded, any liquid inside SCP-198 will disappear and the container will inexplicably begin to fill from the bottom up with the fluid of or a semi-solid material stopping only once it reaches the top of the container. Liquid or semi-solid is different for each holder, but as this is a been a bodily fluid or hemian excretion in each test instance. Such instances have included human saliva, sweat, blood, bile, mucus, urine, feces, and an expunge, as well as combinations of two or more of these. Once SCP-198 has, has filled, the holder will undergo rapid dehydration and or emaciation, becoming increasingly malnourished to the point of death, which occurs which usually occurs within 24 hours if nothing is done to prevent it. And just as of standard food, liquids, or IV supply nutrients does nothing to reverse or slow this process. Testing has revealed that the only means by which the subject can gain nourishment is by consuming constants of SCP-198. However, the constant rate of dehydration and emaciation remains the same, forcing 
as of description, vast quantities of the experience almost constantly to remain alive. As the contents are consumed, or as is often the case, dumped out of the container, SCP-198 will continue to refill itself automatically. Time slots have lasted as long as 70 hours by consuming the excretions before it's coming to exhaustion, or refuses to consume any more of the content, which invariably leads to death. Upon expiration of the handler, the bond with SCP-198 is broken and the object can once again be manipulated. In approximately 75% of test instances, SCP-198 will disappear once the bond is broken and reappear almost instantly on a nearby flat surface, seemingly with a preference for tables or shelves within the same room, and take on a new form. Approximately 90% of these reappearances of SCP-198 are within the general vicinity of the now deceased handler, but several times the object has been observed to reappear in nearby containment rooms, observation rooms, and in one case static sponge. Due to the catastrophic nature of this of that incident, extreme care is to be taken when in proximity to SCP-198 containment or testing room. Foundation personnel are urged not to bring with them any beverages or containers within 100 meters of SCP-198 containment room, even when the object is not actually being re researched. SCP-198 was acquired by the Foundation from an underground bunker in Blank, Germany, after the bunker's accidental discovery by construction workers. Reports of strange activity and deaths among the construction company regarding this bunker brought the object to Foundation attention. Agent Blank, upon responding to the location, discovered several deceased and grossly amass emaciated corpses, both recent and some quite old. Unaware of the nature of their deaths or the SCP in question, Agent Blank sealed off the area and awaited backup. It was in the nature of the SCP object revealed itself as the agent mistakenly grabbed what appeared to be an unopened bottle of water from a table at the construction site. Becca arrived to find an extremely agitated agent blank bomb and is struggling to remove his hand from a cup of fresh data expunged. Agent Blank later self-terminated during the location cleanup. Incident 198A Data is an unknown date after 2000. Location, site blank. Description, at approximately 2.15 p.m., researcher John Blank, who was working in an observation group adjacent to SCP-198 containment room, reached for what he thought to be his thermos of ice tea, only to discover he was firmly bonded to what appeared to be SCP-198. Immediately, researcher Blank notified site supervisors who, upon inspection of containment room 198, discovered that SCP-198 was indeed missing from its case. At least three months have passed since the experiment has been conducted on SP-198 without incident. <sighs> Researcher Blank was interviewed by site staff and was kept alive by consuming the contents of SCP-198 for 31 hours before finally refusing to drink the contents any longer. Incident 198B At approximately 8 a.m., security guard Albert Blank Stopped to get a cup of coffee from a break room later determined to be located three floors underneath and two hallways from SCP 198's container room. The guard found himself bonded to SCP 198 when he attempted to grab a bottle of dairy creamer from the break room refrigerator. Once again, site supervisors were notified of a potential break breach and discovered SCP 198's case to be empty. Guard Blank was interviewed and chose to self terminate rather than and consume any of the contents of SCP 198. <sighs> Immediately after incident 198, it be site supervisors determined that the object class should be raised to Euclid and containment for a 198 was created to handle future containment breaches. Containment for 198. Containment for 198 is being executed Im immediately by site supervisors after a containment breach of SCP-198 is detected. In the event that the alarm attached to SCP-198 scale is sounded, site blank is to lock down and all personnel are to immediately avoid any beverage containers and evacuate the facility until SCP-198 can be located and properly secured. And I don't feel like reading the test logs. That was SCP-198, an interesting little well, um, beverage container that seems to bond with people's hands and make them drink their own bodily fluids 
until they refuse or simply you die of exhaustion. Seems like a cruel, cruel creation. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!